if this is not a sign to keep going, I don't know what is. So, my first lighting. Y'all, okay. I just gotta, we just gotta do a little debrief here because I almost can't believe this is real life. This has been the dream for as long as I can even remember. And I put it on the back burner for a long time. Not only on the back burner, but like I kept it really close. We all have trials and tribulations and obstacles put on our paths and you gotta kind of get through it to get to the other side. And as I was going through that, the thing that like was just blaring was just reconnecting, truly like healing and then reconnecting to self. I felt very like dissociated from myself for, for a bit there. And this music was that, I don't know, was just, the thing that like has made me whole again, honestly. And it's meant so much like the last couple years I've been prepping and, you know, again, behind the scenes, behind closed doors, I've been just getting my vocals ready and really committing myself to that and songwriting and doing music sessions any which way I can. And like, you know, just immersing myself in, in this, in this right here and But I just never thought in a million years that a live performance was gonna come so soon. If you're in LA or around LA, I hope you guys can be there. It's completely free to RSVP, but there is limited space available. So I'll put the link somewhere on the screen. And then me, do I even remember how to do this? Um, I'll put the link somewhere on the screen or down below or wherever it needs to go. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun night. Like an artist collective sort of night where there's gonna be fashion designer and then there's gonna be like a tattoo artist and then a painter and then three music tokens. I literally cannot believe this is real right now. Like I actually cannot fathom. Remember you?